a divine intervention, unraveling the layers of Anthony van Dyck's masterpiece. In the midst of a devastating plague that gripped Palermo in 1624, a divine intervention was immortalized on canvas by the illustrious Flemish artist, Anthony van Dyck. Saint Rosalie interceding for the plague-stricken of Palermo is not just a painting, it is a narrative of hope, faith, and salvation woven into the threads of catastrophe. The artwork encapsulates Saint Rosalie, Palermo's 12th century patroness, as an emblem of hope during the city's darkest hours. The saint is depicted amidst celestial beings, her compassionate gaze and outstretched arms embodying solace and protection. Yet beneath this iconic imagery lies another layer, a self-portrait sketched in grisaille by Van Dyck himself. This revelation came to light through autoradiography unveiling an intricate dance between artist and subject where one narrative gives way to another. Van Dyck's journey with this masterpiece was tumultuous. The canvas bears witness to its own history, cut down on all sides and marred by large losses extending from the putto at top left to Saint Rosalie's left hand. Yet each restoration breathes new life into its existence. The landscape, though worn, echoes with silent testimonies of those who sought refuge under Saint Rosalie's benevolent watch. Completed in Genoa in 1627 after Van Dyck fled Palermo with it during the quarantine period, it wasn't until 1628 that this masterpiece graced Palermo again. This painting stands as a testament to human resilience amidst adversity an intertwining narrative of an artist's self-reflection and a city's plea for salvation during its most dire moments.